So I'm in the cell next door to him. And this motherfucker is screaming in the vents. He must not be used to Florida prison. He's talking about the most heinous crimes that he's committed. He's laughing. And all these other inmates are getting so emotional screaming. See, the Viking mindset is about discipline here. Be strong when you're weak and be weak when you're strong. You never let them see you sweat. Hearing this demonic psychopath speak on attacking some of the most vulnerable people in our society and succeeding at it is just eating at my heart. But I know I have to be composed because I have to figure out a way to make this man feel vulnerable like he did to his victims while I have handcuffs on, shower slides, and white state boxers. So I go back to hitting my burpees. Everybody's screaming. He gets deeper and deeper about his shit. He doesn't understand how easy it is in Florida to get a guard to let you hit any inmate. He feels safe and secure. He don't give a fuck. He's loving the attention. That's part of that psychopath, disgusting, demonic behavior. So it's Sunday and I'm going to get his ass the next day. The plan that I figure will go down is like this. When you're in D.C. or you're in really close custody situation, you're lucky if you shower three times a week. But when you do shower, what they do is they take two different cells. Two go to the shower, two go to the haircut. The electric, yeah, yeah, shave it off real quick and switch. He's housed alone. So in my mind, I'm thinking that the CEO is going to put me next to him in the barber chair where I can headbutt him cleanly and probably launch him off that tier. That's what's going through my head. You have to understand, as a man, my code of ethics, if you hurt anybody in our society that's vulnerable, weak, with such evil as him, I'll turn a six-year sentence into a life sentence and never look back. That might sound crazy to some people, but until you've been around that pure evil and had the chance to avenge and make him feel vulnerable like he did to those victims, you'll never understand. So anyway, back to the story. So the CEO does his checks real quick, squeaks into my cell. I'm hitting burpees like crazy. I walk up. He said, be ready tomorrow showers. That's all he says. So I know it's going down. Adrenaline is pumping. I'm ready to fuck this demonic coward up i come up with two plans the first one if we get the haircut the same the second one is the shower situation if we go to the shower at the same time we kind of line up near each other i'm gonna kick his fucking kneecap out and start just fucking headbutting him bite his fucking nose whatever i gotta do to make him feel that pain and that fear that's where hammer of god comes from so monday rolls around adrenaline's pumping i'm 25 years old about to put this fucking disgusting piece of shit in its place. He rolls the door, cuff up. We both get put in the chair to get our hair cut. I immediately swing over and start headbutting him. 